Let the glory of God be manifested this day in your life, in my life, in Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. Thank you for being with me today, and, and we're just going to get into the Word. I'm excited about this message today, Portals of Heaven. Oh, hallelujah. Let's pray together before we start. You're welcome to make your comments and, and just bless the people today. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you with, with honor. We come to you praising your name. We come to you saying that you are the mighty creator of all of the universe. We come to you today uh, saying that we humble ourselves before you, that you may exalt us in due time. We are going to cast every care over on you today, every concern over on you today. We're going to focus on you today. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you uh, that you are mighty. We thank you that you are the one that watches over us and gives us uh, blessings and gives us your your divine uh nature. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you and we thank you and we praise you uh, that we are going to enter into your very presence today, Lord. We want to go through those doors. We want to go through those portals uh, in the name of Jesus and be with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Woo! Glory. I've been up early this morning and, and uh, the Lord has been speaking to me about the portals of heaven. Oh, in Jesus' name. And so what is a portal? A portal is a door, a gateway into the supernatural realm. Hallelujah. Into that heavenly realm. Oh, don't you want to get out of this earthly realm? Uh, this natural realm? Uh, and go into the presence of God? Oh, in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. It is that doorway where no demonic activity can interfere. Uh, God's portals uh, are protected, hallelujah, uh, by the warring angels. Oh, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You know, if we go to Genesis chapter 20, uh, I do want you to, uh, to just write down or uh, make a note of there are three ways uh, in, in which to enter into a portal. Hallelujah. If you want to be uh, in, the, in the very presence of God, uh, there is, number one, is unity with Him. Being one with Him. Uh, agreeing with His Word. Hallelujah. Agreeing with what He's doing in your life. A uh, Unity. And we'll go over these again, but number one is unity. Number two is through prayer. Oh, Lord, we thank you for the uh, for uh, being able to speak in tongues and having that prayer language that goes directly to the Father. Oh, in Jesus' name, that we communicate with Him. And there's no interference from demonic activity. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. So through prayer, through unity. And number three is through obedience. Lord, we want to be obedient to you today. Obedience is better than sacrifice. What has God told you to do? Have you done it? Hallelujah. Obedience. Uh, has he told you to give something? Has he told you to speak something? Has he told you to go to a certain place? Glory be to the Lord. Lord, we thank you for your glory. We thank you for your glory. This morning early, the Lord said healing uh, healing comes through the power uh, of God, but miracles come through the glory of God. You might want to write that down. Hallelujah. And if you need a miracle today, then you need to enter into His glory and let His glory manifest that miracle for you in the name of Jesus. Let's go to Genesis 28 and let's look at Jacob for just a moment. When we talk about portals, uh, I always think about Jacob. And it says in verse 11 of 28, And he lighted upon a certain place, or he stopped at a certain place, and he uh, stayed there for a while uh, through the night because the sun was set. And he took the stones of that place and he put them for his pillow. And he laid down and he went to sleep. 
and he dreamed a dream. And behold, there was a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. There is a gateway. There is a gateway to get to the presence of God. Hallelujah. It says it reached into heaven, and behold, the angels of God were ascending and descending. They go up with your request, and they come down with the answer. Hallelujah. They go up, and they come down. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac, the land whereon thou liest to thee, will I give to thee and to thy seed. And so when we go into a portal, into the presence of God, he begins to speak to us. Also, it's God that guards the door of the portal. Hallelujah. He stands there and he is ready to speak to us. Oh, don't you need to, to, to hear from the Lord today? And then you need to go into his presence. And thy seed shall be as the, as the, uh, as the uh, dust of the earth. And thou shalt spread abroad to the west to the east, to the north, and to the south. And in thee and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am with thee, and will keep you in all places whither thou goest, and will bring thee again until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. And Jacob awaked out of his sleep and said, Surely the Lord was in this place, and I knew it not. There are times when the presence of the Lord is all around you and all around me. And we may not know uh, that he's there. He's watching over us. He's protecting us. And he's saying, come up hither, for I have something that I want to talk to you about. I want, I want to be with you. I want to commune with you. Woo! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! So we want to enter in. To that place through the doorway into the very presence of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, places can be portals. And uh, one place is the Jordan River. The Jordan River. Uh, the, the anointing is there. The presence of God is there as Joshua and the people of God went over the Jordan River. Uh, they brought back an, uh, an altar uh, of stones and they put it in that Jordan River. Uh, why was Naaman uh, the, the leper healed when he dipped seven times in the Jordan River? It was because there's such an anointing uh, there in that, in that river. Oh, uh, and remember that Jesus, Jesus, uh, you know, Jesus was baptized in the Jordan River. And I'll get to that in just a moment. But Elijah, Elijah, they, he, he parted that Jordan River with his mantle. And then he was taken up with, a, with the chariots of fire. And, but he dropped back down the mantle. Hallelujah. So to that presence of God, uh, we receive that double portion of blessings, uh, that mantle comes down upon us uh, in the name of Jesus. Why do we want to go into a portal? Why do we want to go into the presence of God? We want uh, to, to be blessed of the Lord, and we want to be empowered of the Lord to do his work. Woo, hallelujah. And so Jerusalem the city of Jerusalem is another place that's a portal. Why? Because Jesus uh, ascended from there. And he's going to come back. Oh, hallelujah. He's going to come back in the very same place that he went up. And so why has there been such a turmoil and, and war against uh, the city of Jerusalem? Uh, because the enemy knows that. The enemy knows where Jesus is coming back. And so he tries to interfere with that. But let me tell you something. God's portals, uh, that's not going to stop Jesus. Because God watches over the portals. And, and nothing shall interfere uh, with the return of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And then Mount Moriah is where Abraham took Isaac. It's a portal. 
It's where the angel of God came to Abraham and said, uh, you don't have to kill your lamb over there in the bush. And so there was, it, when we enter into a portal, we enter into uh, where God can speak to us and God can reveal himself to us. This is a season of revelation for the body of Christ, for the church. It's a season of revelation of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, it's, it's, it's the book of Revelation. Remember Patmos, uh, because he couldn't be killed. He couldn't be boiled to death. He, they couldn't kill him, and so they just sent him away. But praise God, he entered into a portal. Let's go over to the book of Revelation. We started in Genesis now. Let's go all the way to the end of the book. In Genesis, I mean in, in Revelation. Oh. He says that he was, oh. Oh, hallelujah. In verse 1, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants, which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto the servant John. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, and he says, and I was on the, uh, in the spirit on the Lord's day. Uh, I'm in uh, verse 10. I was in the spirit of the Lord's on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. He had entered into a portal. He had entered into the presence of God and God began to speak to him. In fact, he said, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. Jesus began to speak to him. The word began to speak to him. Hallelujah. While thou seest, write in what thou seest, write in a book and send, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus and Smyrna and Pregatus, Pergamos and, and Tithera, oh hallelujah, and Sardis, and, and Philadelphia, and Laodicea. And I turned and to see the voice that spoke to me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. When we enter into a portal, we're going to see things that we've never seen before. We're going to see the word in a different light. Because you see, where there is a portal, there is light. And I remember the night that, that the, the Lord came and gave our daughter a miracle. She had no immunity system. And we laid her on the couch running 105 fever. And we turned and we began to praise the Lord. We began to worship the Lord. And I believe that a door was opened in heaven. And we entered into a portal that night. And all of a sudden there was a light that came and it shone upon her. Oh, hallelujah for a few seconds. So see, when that door to a portal opens, it's a light. A light that comes. Hallelujah. It shone on her. And it gave her a miracle. Why? Because it was not just healing. It was not just the power. But it was the glory of God. Can somebody say amen? Hallelujah. I'm tired of being in this nations. I spit on that. Let the carnal people do their carnal things. But I want to enter into that portal. I want that glory uh, to, to shine upon me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to be in unity uh, with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Oh, just like they were in Acts chapter 2. Remember, this is the first, first thing I said. Write down. Hallelujah. That you come into unity. You come into oneness uh, with uh, the Father, the, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And that's what they did in, in Acts chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. And we know what happened in the upper room. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost was poured out. And there was, a there was oh, hallelujah, those heavens were opened up. Uh, the, the portal was opened up. And that power came. Hallelujah. And that fire came. And it lit upon their heads. And they began to speak in tongues. Oh, hallelujah. They began to communicate uh, with the Father. 
People who tell me, well, I don't need to speak in tongues. I say, that's, that's hogwash. We all need that. If you want to speak to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, then you need to speak in tongues. Hallelujah. Why? Because it connects you. Why go through a portal at all? Why talk about portals today? It's because it's a connection with God. We need a connection there. In the days to come, we need a connection. Hallelujah. And it's reassuring to me that God... Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. You know, but individuals can become portals as well. And let's go to uh, when Jesus was baptized in the Jordan River. Oh, hallelujah. Let's go over to the Gospels. In Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for connecting us. We thank you, Lord, for being with us and blessing us. Oh, in Jesus' name. In Psalm 24, 7, before we get over to the baptism, in, in Psalm 24, verse 7, it, oh, let, let's just go over there and read it. I like to sing it. Oh, in Jesus' name. Oh, lift up your gates. Oh, ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. For the King of glory shall come in, shall come in. Who is this King? Of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. He is the King of glory. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in, shall come in. Who is this King? Of glory, the Lord God Almighty. He is the God of battle. He is the King of glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you want to walk in the glory today? Do you want to step into his glory today? Uh, then say, Lord, I want those doors to be open to me. I want to go through a portal today. I want to hear your voice oh, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And let's go. I think it's in Matthew, the one I want to go to. And it says that Jesus was baptized in the Jordan River. Praise the name of Jesus. And it says, there's one crying in the wilderness, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is in, at hand. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And many went out uh, to meet with him and uh, John the Baptist and, and be baptized in the Jordan River as they confessed uh, their sins. And then, and then this, this came. Uh, so I indeed baptize you with water. In verse 11, uh, unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than me, whose shoes I'm not worthy to untie. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Who was he talking about? He was talking about Jesus. Hallelujah. He is saying Jesus is coming, whose fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly uh, purge his floor and gather the wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the shaft with unquenchable fire. Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized. Here we see obedience. Jesus never sinned. Never. He was without sin. So why did he repent? Because the Father said to. So he was obedient even to the death of the cross. And John forbade him, saying, I have need to baptize of thee and comest unto me. Why did you come to me? And Jesus answered and said, Suffer it but to be so. For 
Thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went straightway out of the water. And lo, oh, hallelujah, listen to what's next. And lo, the heavens were open unto him. Jesus became a portal. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lighted upon him. Ooh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, God's glory lit upon him. And he became a portal. He became a, 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 a person uh, in the flesh. Yes. Oh, but here you see him go from a man of law to a man of the Spirit. Hallelujah. And that's who we are. When we are born of the Spirit, we become spirits. Oh, praise God. Are you hearing me today? Are you seeing this today? Do you want it today? And low a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. I'm going to stop right there with Jesus. So Jesus became... John chapter 10 that he is the door and we go through the door and when we're in Jesus then we become a portal we become that portal hallelujah now we can go into other portals we can go to other places brother Fred and I are sent many places many places where uh, there are what uh, is uh, heavenly portals uh, and, and sometimes even where there are demonic uh, portals where the enemy is is going in and out, in and out, and we are called there to to bring down those strongholds, uh, to bring down the demonic activity in that city or that nation. Oh, hallelujah! But we're sent all over the place, and where the glory of God is, where it's been poured out, it will stay there. It will stay there. We went to a a battlefield uh, several years ago. Called Kettle, Kettle, what, Kettle, what was it, Freddie? Kettle Creek. Kettle Creek. Kettle Creek Battlefield, where there was a mighty battle of just 300 uh, uh, men on one side, but there was a big army, a British army, on the other side, and they had the advantage. They were up on the hill, uh, but these 300 soldiers were prayer warriors. They were praying. They were praising the Lord. Hallelujah. And later, oh, I'm just giving you a, a, a shorted uh, version of this uh, experience that we had uh, as we went through a portal uh, that day. Oh, hallelujah. Because it was there. The glory of God was still there. And that 300 men won the battle because they shot down the leader. Woo, and they went up to, to see him, and they said, oh, we, can we pray for you? And he said, no, just take my spurs to my wife. That's all he wanted. But you see, they were, they were prayer, they were praying, and they were, they were in the presence of God, and God uh, opened up the door to them that day and poured out his glory upon that that 300, that uh, uh, small army of 300, and they won. It was like a David Goliath experience. Well, we were, we walked and we redeemed the land and we prayed over it and we gave the Lord praise for what he did uh, in that place that day. And we got back in our, our vehicle and our cell phones had gone back an hour. It wasn't a time change. It wasn't anything that was supposed to happen. But it was the glory of God. It was the presence of God. The energy of God. And it pushed back our phones uh, uh, back an hour. And once we got on the road headed home, uh, it automatically changed back to the, to the time it was supposed to be. The glory of God will not leave you. When you enter into it, it will stay with you. Hallelujah. And you will not forget it. You will not forget that experience with the Lord. With the Lord. So we're going to have unity with Him. 
We're going to come into oneness. I, I agree with your word, Lord. I agree uh, with the power of the Holy Spirit. I agree with what you're saying about me today, Lord. Oh, that I'm one of your sons. I, I believe it, Lord. I want to walk in it uh, in Jesus' name. And then as we pray, it says in Acts chapter 4, uh, verse 31, I won't turn there, but when they began to uh, to go into that portal, uh, the room began to shake, hallelujah. And they, they all began to speak in tongues. Oh, hallelujah, the Holy Ghost uh, showed up and the glory of God was there, was manifested when they began to pray in Jesus' name. And then in that, I just read you in the obedience that Jesus had to go and be baptized in the Jordan River. Even though he had never sinned, never. No, there was no sin in him. But that's what he was told to do. Praise the name of Jesus. You know, when Jesus ascended, the heavens opened up. Praise the name of Jesus received him back as as the son of God the son the son of God and he sat down at the right hand of the father now let's go over to to Matthew 17 and I'm bringing this to a close I don't want to hallelujah I want to stay I'm in the presence of the Lord right now Oh, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. And the Spirit of the Lord would say unto his church today, Come, come up hither, come up hither, come up and, and enter into the door, enter through the door, enter into my presence, saith the Lord, for I will speak to you, I will reveal things to you, I will tell you how to survive in the days to come. I say unto you, I am your Father, I am the one that watches over you, I am with you always. I, I will pour out my blessings upon you this day in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Matthew 17, Jesus takes Peter, James, and John up on the mountaintop. And it says, And was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. As the light. Remember I told you that along with the glory comes the light. Woo! Praise the name of Jesus. And he was transfigured before them. And before their appearance appeared Moses and Elijah talking with him. Jesus had entered into that heavenly realm where Moses had already gone ahead of him. And Elijah had already gone ahead of him. But he was there talking to them. He was with them. He was in the heavenly realm. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Then answered Peter and said, Oh, Lord, it's so good to be here. Let us make three little tabernacles and, and y'all can just stay. But yet, and while he yet spoke, behold, a bright cloud, a, a cloud of light. Can you say amen? Where there's a glory, there's going to be light. And it says, overshadowed them. And behold, a voice came out of the cloud. God is going to speak to you when you enter through the door and enter into that portal. God is going to begin to speak to you. Oh, hallelujah. I'm getting myself excited here. It says, a voice out of the cloud said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. Hallelujah. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face and they were so afraid. And Jesus said, came and touched them and said, Arise and be not afraid. Be not afraid. Be a portal today. Be a portal. Forget about your problems. Forget about the pain. Forget about anything that's going on in the natural realm. Why? Because once you step into that glory, hallelujah, it will all be gone. COVID has to leave. Has to leave in the name of Jesus. Oh, sickness has to leave. Uh, cancer has to leave. Diabetes has to leave. Arthritis has to leave. Uh, when you enter into that that mighty presence of Almighty God. So enter into the portal today. Be a portal today. 
In Jesus' precious name, headaches have to leave. No more headaches. No more migraines. In the name of Jesus. No more anxiety. No more depression. No more suicidal thoughts. In the name of Jesus. Because we're going to enter in to that portal, that gateway into the heaven, heavenly realm. In the Old Testament, it talks about there's a highway. I believe it's in Isaiah, isn't it pretty? Yeah. In Isaiah, it says there's a highway and there's no beast on it and there's no nothing to hurt you on it. Hallelujah. Come into unity with the Lord today. Pray. Ask that you that you have a portal opened up to you and that you become a portal in the name of Jesus. And number three is to obey what God tells you to do in Jesus' name. God bless you today.